Hello, people. Welcome to more watch. Well, more watch. Welcome to more let's play Sunset Overdrive. Um. So full disclosure, I did do this. Um, this thing, this challenge, and I got the gold on it. However, um, when I, uh, when I last played this, which was last night, and like, the last night, which would would have been May, the twenty first, on a Saturday in twenty twenty two. Um, I, when the new challenges thing popped up after I did that story mission, I just thought it meant this challenge, but apparently there's two more. So I'm gonna try and do those really quick. I don't want to do them off screen, because I wanted to try and show them off at least. Yeah, we have a points challenge here. And I think the other one is... I think it's a traversal challenge, but I could be wrong. Actually, I think we went past those. Might be a Smash Stuff challenge? I don't know. Oh shit! Didn't mean to... Didn't mean to swing just yet. Also, there's a bit of tissue paper that I missed from last time, apparently. I thought I got them all because I did all the um, flexibles earlier today, so... Apparently I missed one. That's one of the easiest point challenges to do in this entire game. I'm not surprised with Smash Squad there, that's legit one of the easiest ones. I don't think I've ever fucked up on that. Well, I have not gotten gold on my first try. So, uh, yeah, not to brag, but, you know, pretty good at that one. <clears throat> oh, I just remembered we have a new smartphone message to show off too, because that's a collectible as well. And, something else I do want to show off too, after I've done this other challenge. Uh, where is it? Is it just the other night defense? Hang on, let me have a move to the map really quick. Okay. This is just a double check, if anything. No, we're all good. Alright, well, back to my early point. So, <coughs> excuse me, you might notice this symbol here. And last night when I was playing this, um, I did say that, like, there's the satellite things, and I couldn't remember if there were maps for them. Turns out there are. So we're gonna go around and look for these really quick. Well, okay, we're gonna listen to the smartphone messages first. Okay, I think, um, since I've got, uh, ten... Uh, let's read this one just to, like, refresh ourselves. Listen, can you pick up with the molecular stabilization test when you get in? We've got complications. One of the rabbits is bashing his head against the glass. Kind of disturbing, but whatevs. Uh, but whatevs. Just double check for me, please. Thanks. From Santa Scott's to Ariana Cinder. 14th of April, 2027. Uh, what? The Great Storm of Fogothian Steel and Scribe. Where? The Crossroads of Fate, Sunset City, uh, City Park. When? Three ticks before the moon on the Pell Summer's Genesis, July 12, 5 p.m. Hear ye, hear ye, all citizens of Fargothia are bespoken to attend the great storm of Fargothia and still inscribe. A night where magic and ag agrarian based economy determines our fates. Any Fargothian inspired at the evil Fisco's overchargeth release from overchargeth, like, uh, I like that, will be personally unfriended by King Ignatius, so don't be a Tulith. I'm totally naming this Let's Play part Don't Be a Tulith. <laughs> um. Uh, Agrarian, what the fuck is that? Relating to cultivated land or the cultivation of land. 
are agrarian, like agriculture? I've uh, I've read through that smart phone message many times and I've bothered to look up that word. Probably because no one uses it. Anyway, <clears throat> 12th of July, 2027, 8 p.m. Kane, this is not what I would call a successful launch. What the fuck is happening out there in the city? Uh, just go, OMG, 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 are you okay? I just saw a guy get his jaw ripped off by a troll ninja freak. What are these things, Mona? I don't know, I've heard people say it's that new physical drink, but just go freaking out. Mona, I think people are looting. Me and Steph are going to go seal some beer and get crunk. Why join? Jessica, totally. So I'm guessing these are scabs. Um, on that same... Yeah, also, on the... Oh, on the 4th of July, 2027, 9.33am, to Norton from Bill Cream, subject to troop leadership. Hey Norton, I want to tell you this in private so I wouldn't, it wouldn't upset the others and the email seems like the best way. We've done a great job fortifying the museum and I'm truly proud of all of you f for that, but look, anything could happen now if something happens to me, I need to know that you're prepared to step up to the plate and make sure 4 Kim leads the troop. She's by far the best choice and will keep everyone safe, and I know that you can do a great job convincing her. Yours in confidence, Troop Master Brawl Cream. Well, it's a good thing Norton's dead now. Because fuck that guy. Uh, smartphone 25, Shelly Kane Twitter, at girls just one have got on. In line at Outdoor Sports for Buck National's new special release. Glad I got fired so I could get in line early. Hashtag Bush National, Buck National versus Healthcare, Bush National. Hashtag silver lining, hashtag camo lining. Line's getting long, can't see anyone because of all the camo though, lol. Hashtag my people. He's here, at Buck National, looked at me, he had me in his sights. Hashtag dead. Some freaking mob just rushed to the store and ripped off the guy's arm. Putting phone down to scrap gun update soon. Turns out everyone in line was carrying a concealed weapon and we let it. The bug is good thing the liberals haven't completely destroyed the second amendment. Hashtag it hits. <laughs> May spoken to soon, we ended up mainly shooting each other. All dead bodies, but good news is I'm still alive. Probably not for much longer now. Anyway. 17th of July 2027, 6.47pm, from Gath Keenan to Arth Arthur Wigan. Subject, I just want- so, I just want to go through your list of theories as to how you decimated my perfect launch. Possible rabbit hair fell into the final sample. Those things don't look like the Easter Bunny, so I'm guessing no on that one. Dormant peanut allergies. Last time I checked, nuts weren't an ingredient. And global warming. Okay, seriously, you know what? You're fired. I'll get someone else to find out what happened, and don't take this personally, but I hope you die. Sincerely, G. Damn, Gareth. Uh, this, uh, the next day, yeah, the next day, 9am, uh, to all important employees from Dr. Kane, subject evacuation notice. As you may have heard, there was a minor setback during the release of our revolutionary overcharge product. We have constructed walls and quarantined the city. I don't like seeing that word anywhere, so don't worry, you're all safe. Until further evaluation, we are recommending that all level 6 or higher Fisco employees temporarily evacuate via private jet or helicopter. If you do not have your own aircraft, should have cashed in those options last year, eh? Just sit tight and someone will help you eventually. Our automated hospitality bots will be deployed soon to help protect you and clean up the city. While waiting for rescue, please think about innovative ways we can turn this misstep to our advantage. For example, blame it on our competitors. Thank you, Dr. Kane. Dr. Kane, you're a knob. <coughs> Same day, just a couple of hours later, to Arnold Renner from Patty Mayfield, subject, fi please fix more. Dear Mayor Renner, I hope this letter finds you well. Unfortunately, I now have a new blight on my vista. A drifty grey wall is decimating my view everywhere I gaze. I've heard rumours that it was installed by Fisco in case they needed it for the uh, inevitable corporate world war. But honestly, it's as ugly as sin. Uh, please fix yours truly, Patty Mayfield. P.S. Should probably do something about this virus thingy too, but please resolve my wall issue first. Priorities. Uh, 11th of May 2027, 3.56pm uh, to Fisco R&D. From Hinden's Dirigibles and Weaponry Inc., Subject invoice from Hinden Storageables and Weaponry Inc. Below is your invoice for one fizzy blimp. $15.9,000 for a 75 foot custom fizzy blimp. $200 for the bubble machine. $22.1,000 for a camera system and voice box. $237 million for a deployable RPG cradle. $796 million for experimental atomic laser inducers. Service with a smile. Free. Let's doing business with you. Give those crazy college kids at those crazy music festivals a hell of a time, will you? Yeah, well, you know. And last one, <coughs> on the 27th of July, so that's... All of a sudden they're not all in monthly order, huh? <coughs> I thought they would be. To Vivian Shure EOC from Dr. Rupert F. Kane. 
hope the F stands for fuck off. Subject, a mind of your time, Vivian. It's been too long, darling. How's the network going? First in its demographic under your lead. Uh, first in its demographic under your lead, last time I checked. I got a little tip that you got a little tip that this Sunset City vir virus is actually from my new drink. Well, talk about a hilarious accusation. I mean, really? When have I been that stupid? Was I stupid when I purchased the majority of your ad slots last year and the 13 years prior to that? It'd be a shame to vice bond up. With warm regards, Dr. Ripper Kane. P.S. I recommend staying away from Sunset City as an antivirus. Again, priorities and shit. Uh, there's not really many eavesdrops, there's only three, so it won't take long to go through them. Oh no, there's four. I think there's like nine in total. And I already went through one yesterday. It'll be fine. I thought I came through the cage. I got you. I know. All right. Might as well do a bit of murdering on the way there. Throw up my weapons a bit, get some more uh, power. Oh, you are still there. And this is just for fun and grinding. Literally. Alright, that'll do me for now. Oh, I might as well pick up some ammo really quick from Jack. I'm here for you. Appreciate it, thank you, buddy. Oh, shit. I'm so used to using the Roman candles on the OD that I forget it's really effective against the humans too. Like, probably even more so. So this is the one. Ah, yes. Deep above. There's something going wrong with the going on with the Tiki. Tiki Wiki Doodle. Ricky Tiki Bobby Wobbin. Ahoy, Squire! My ink horn has run dry. Could thou fetch more ink to fill my quill? It's not ye here. Squire Kevin procured some inscribing supplies from a shoppy nearby, including some uh ballpoint pens witchcraft and wizardry you would turn your back on our king and put your faith in occult calligraphy I, I meant nothing of the sort i beg your forgiveness spoken as a true brother of Argathia. now fetch mine ink you pigeon livid mutt ere i lose mine inspiration again i don't know exactly what they're supposed to yield But damn it, they're funny to listen to. Uh, how far away is that? Eh. 
I think my personal rule is if it's under 1,000, I can just go there. So if I remember right, when it comes to the cage survivors, it hasn't happened so far, but the cage can actually hit the player character and send them back a little bit. Why does that not flying, but it does hurt them. Well, it doesn't really hurt them, it just bonks them a bit and they, like, move back a small bit. Yeah, I think I got that right. I think I said the words correctly in the right order. You never fucking know with me sometimes though, do you? That's what I was after. Thank you. Let's wait. What you got for me? Oh! Aha! Bushido Rule 14 clearly states we must only set traps with objects found in the environment. But Rule 8 says troopers must pledge to create traps and tools of highest quality because dependability. It, dependability is our friendability. I know the pledge. But in this situation, we can use the resources around us to reinforce this barricade. And I don't dis. And I don't disagree. But we could venture out to a hardware store and scavenge some heavy-duty tools. That would also satisfy Rule 11. But that's an inefficient use of our resources when... They're breaking through the barricade! Fall back! Fall back! <sighs> We're not done discussing this. I didn't get my debate badge for nothing, mister. I don't know why it was moving on its own there either. That wasn't me moving the stick. Like it was just sort of like tilting on its own for some reason. There's two around here. I don't think there's any more, but I'll have a quick bitch around with my eye holes. No! Alright. And save a bit of time because I'm lazy. Oh, hello, Herka. Okay, first time I've seen that happen, the truck only being slightly told you before falling on its ass. I know they didn't pop on me. I think that was the um that was the murder on its return route. He was already in a lot, a lot of pain. Zut, 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 zut. Aha! Inside. Or maybe not inside? Thank you. 
Ist gut. I do like that the Murderang rangs. Do come back. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Works for me. <laughs> I mean, that's basically like the message of this game. If the world's ending, make it your bitch. Have fun. Also, God, Sam, there's a lot of OD. Good day. Great experience. Which is a phrase that doesn't make sense because you don't pay for experience in this game. Nor should you ever have to, video game world. Oh, God. I love him. Smash. All right. Yeah. All right, on to this last uh, eavesdrop.
time to crack this puppy open. Well, there, I put him back in the grave. Alright, last one for now. Oh, thank you. No. Fisco's Wi-Fi restrictions, but they set up cascading restriction nodes. Fortunately, I was able to collapse the transmission field by reversing its polarity. Great, Stan. Are we on the network, or what? It's Sam, actually. Now, all wireless signals can piggyback on the Fisco repeaters. We can transmit to anyone nearby, but we can't reach anyone outside of Sunset City. I know what it means, dumbass. Just shut up and fix it. Probably the least interesting one. Let's just cut out a lot of time. <laughs> Thank God for the gift of fast travel. Although fuck the person who thought, oh you can't fast travel when enemies are nearby. Why not? <laughs> 